Salesman. Intelligence officer. Poster. Farmer. And founder of the advertising agency Ogilvy and Mather. David Ogilvy is often regarded as the father of advertising. But the truth is that he was the man who really modernised the advertising industry in the United States. Early in his career, in the 1930s, David Ogilvy wrote that in advertising, concrete figures must be substituted for atmospheric claims, cliches must give way to facts, and empty exhortations to alluring offers. In founding his own advertising agency, Ogilvy used this as the basis of his principle that the function of advertising is to sell products. And successful advertising of any product is based on a knowledge of and understanding of the customer. Ogilvy particularly rejected any form of advertising that either patronised or shouted at the customer. In 1955, he coined the phrase, the customer is not a moron, she's your wife. He firmly believed that advertisers need to treat their customers as intelligent people. And although his characterization of the customer as somebody's wife seems very old fashioned to us today, the reality is that in 1955, this was a revolution. Ogilvy also saw the adverts that an agency created as being the best advertising for the agency itself. Doing good work for your clients is the best way to attract new clients to the agency. Because in the advertising and marketing industry, all of your work, good or bad, is highly visible to your potential customers. This, by the way, is also true of advertising executives and marketing executives. All of your work, good or bad, is highly visible to your potential future employers. Ogilvy's advertising philosophy followed four basic principles. The first was creative brilliance. Ogilvy placed a lot of emphasis on the value and importance of the big idea. In the early days, this is where he himself excelled. My favourite of his big ideas was an advert that he made for Rolls Royce. His copy for the ad told us that at 60 miles an hour, the loudest noise in this new Rolls Royce comes from the electric clock. His second principle was to create actual results for clients. Creative brilliance is not enough on its own. It needs to produce results. Ogilvy said that in the modern world of business, it is useless to be a creative, original thinker unless you can also sell what you create. Ogilvy's third principle was research. The sentiment of the quote from the start of Ogilvy's career stayed with him. When he opened his own agency in 1952, he titled himself as the research director. And his fourth and final principle was professional discipline. Ogilvy presented knowledge and ideas in a polished way in what he called magic lantern shows. These used slides and film projection in a way that we would now use PowerPoint or Prezi or YouTube. He also created structured training for new young advertising professionals. He said, I prefer the discipline of knowledge to the anarchy of ignorance. Ogilvy's book, Confessions of an Advertising Man, is a book about the advertising industry and advertising, and it was one of the main inspirations behind the advertising content of the successful TV series Mad Men, about advertising executives on Madison Avenue. 
that series presents a social commentary of the 1960s that happens to be set in an advertising agency not unlike Ogilvy's. And in that way, while the name of the father of advertising, David Ogilvy, may not be well known to the masses, his ideas are extremely well known today. Please do give a thumbs up if you like this video. I'll be creating loads more great management courses content for you, so please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and in the meantime, keep learning.